How are you? Wonderful. How are you? What's the emergency? The reason I stopped you is you have no license plate on your car, and you also were going above the speed limit. Okay. In case you had about 52 and the speed limit was 40. Do you have your driver's license, registration, and insurance? No. It, do you have a signed warrant or probable cause proving that I committed a crime? You committed a crime. With a victim? Yes. You Who's the victim? You committed two violations. Who is the victim of what you crime? You violated two vehicle codes. No. You did. That's not a crime. So in that case, you have just violated my Fourth Amendment right. You have violated my Fourth Amendment right by forcing my car off the road and approaching me with force of arms. Are you failing to identify yourself to me? Yes. For my safety, I'm going to assert my Fifth Amendment right. For your safety, I'm going to provide you with Don't my affidavit of status. Stuff. Don't start reaching for stuff. This is my affidavit of status. Everything I need to say to you is in this sworn affidavit. Okay. Don't start reaching for stuff. Okay, you are being detained. You've committed two vehicle code violations. You are being legally detained. Are you refusing to identify yourself? All of the information I need to say to you is in that sworn affidavit. Okay. Well, I'm going to have you step out of the car for me. Buddy? No. Well, we need an attorney. They're not gonna do anything. Let me speak to your supervisor, please. I'm your vehicle. I'm gonna have you step out. No. I'm getting some water. Actually, where is it? Here we are again, boys. The party's just getting started. Hello. Just step out. No. Okay, so you've been given a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. I've not been given a lawful order. I've not committed any crime. You do not have you a signed warrant. On your vehicle. That is not a crime. There is no victim. It's a vehicle code violation. The state of California is a victim. Right. That, that does not apply. If you read my affidavit of status, you will see that that does not apply. So, failure to obey the lawful command is a violation of Penal Code 148. Okay. Also does not apply. It does. I'm not a United States citizen. Okay, it does apply. You're in California, the city of Laguna Beach. Yes. Okay, so we need you to step out. No. If you fail to step out, we are going to forcibly break your window and remove you from the vehicle and you're going to go to jail. I would like to talk with your supervisor. Yeah, supervisor. Okay, well, if, if that's what you want to do, then you will break multiple laws. Like no. No. Right. Well, Everything I need to say is in the sworn affidavit. No. Have you read that? I haven't. Well... <laughs> I would, it would be who of you if you did. Why? It would save us a lot of trouble. Okay. Do you have your license? No, I don't. Okay. You're also required to provide that. Nope. Or... I provided you with my affidavit of status. Oh. So is this a sovereign citizen ordeal? Absolutely not. I'm not a citizen. What are you? I am a man. Everything I need to say to you in that sworn affidavit, I'm done answering questions. Hurt? Okay, so here's the thing. We don't want anyone to get hurt. Okay, so we'd like your cooperation. Can we have that? Hello? Like I said, you've been given a lawful order to exit the vehicle. Provide your driver's license, which you're required to do. Everything I need to say to you is in that sworn affidavit. Okay, so you're prepared to go to jail? I'm today? done answering questions. It's my backpack. Yeah, hello. I'll give you a moment to think about it. So let's run through the scenarios together. One, is they break your window mm -hmm. and they take you to jail and uh, you get this sorted out on the back end. Or you get out of the car and they issue a ticket. No. Will you talk to us? No, don't say anything. Will you talk to us? I'm not involved in this incident, so I don't have much to say. Yeah, I'm not involved in it. I can talk to you right here, sure. Hello. Hey, Officer Meyer. I, yeah. That's not my concern. I don't know if you can maybe try to talk some sense into your friend so he doesn't go to jail. Yeah because that's the last thing we want to do, but uh, we're also going to do this. What's the alternative? The alternative? Yeah, to him. It's him listening to what my partners are instructing him to do, which is, I believe, um, to get out of the car. And how will that result? Identify himself. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, what, what, what will be the result of that? What do you mean? Did you just say that I failed to identify myself? Have you identified yourself to my partners? Yes. How so? I provided them my sworn affidavit. Have you seen that? That's, yeah, that's not a Nobody said that they've read it. That is a sworn affidavit, uh, signed and notarized. Which you need to drive. It doesn't have I am not. I am. I am not 
driving under commerce. I am traveling. Yeah. I've presented him with what my assessment is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. What is what is your assessment? My assessment is that they're y'all are going to do what you think is right yeah. and what you believe is le legal and lawful. Yeah. And that right. <laughs> could have some uh, consequences. Yeah. Yeah. But it also could have consequences back if you guys haven't done your due diligence to read that sworn affidavit. And I'm not a cop, so I can't tell you what is and is not the repercussions of that. But it may, it may, you could consider that option as well, even though it may not make sense to you why you would do that and why you wouldn't get out of the car. Okay. Yeah. Consider it. Yeah, thank you. To your knowledge, are there, are there any weapons in the vehicle? To my knowledge, I, I cannot state one way or another. So my answer is no. To my knowledge, I have no, to, to my knowledge, no. Do Correct. you have your ID on you? Uh, I do, but I'm... Are you going to provide that to me or not? I prefer not to. Okay. Yes. Yeah, driver, while we're sitting here, um, I'm going to request that you turn off the car. Thank you. We don't know if he, There's an affidavit, but we don't know if that's him. I saw that. But you want ID just tell Hello, sir. Hello. How are you doing? My name is Sergeant Yielding. So, we find ourselves in a bit of a predicament here. Indeed. Alright. I've looked over the affidavit that you've provided, okay? So, you believe that the only person that has some control over you is Lord, our daughter, Savior, all that, right? Correct. Well, I'm a Christian too, right? But I also know that I live in the United States of America, right? We both live in the United States of America, do we not? The United States of America, yes. Do you pay taxes? Absolutely not. You legally, legally, no. I'm under no tax obligation because I'm not a citizen of the United States. Well, I don't believe that. It doesn't matter what you believe. Okay. So, you drive on these roads which are paid for by taxes and all that stuff, right? I believe that's what you believe. Okay. Well, that's reality. So, it's not. Here's where we're at right now. Okay. Okay. We are all to abide. By the rules set forth by our government, okay? If you are a citizen of the United States which, Corporation. Again, I believe that you were saying that you are not, that you're entitled to believe that, but there's also what we need to follow. Even though we believe that we're not, we're still bound by those laws. I follow natural law, okay. which if, if, if you can, if, if, there, if you have a signed warrant or okay. probable cause proving that I committed a crime where there is a victim, okay. A physical victim then absolutely I will I will I understand I understand what you're saying I do I do understand that, okay but you did break a law so are you telling me a violation let me just ask you a question yeah okay. you believe that you can go whatever speed you want on these roads if there is no victim yes however okay. I don't believe that that's that that is what you should do okay so you're saying that by speeding, there is no victim. Correct. But if you were to run into somebody, absolutely, then there's a victim there. Yes, and then you should be held accountable. Okay. You're also believing that you're not supposed to have registration on your car and a license plate and all that stuff, right? Yes, because I am not, I am not driving under any commercial means. I'm okay. traveling. No, I, I, understand, I, I understand what you're saying. So, we don't want to have any kind of issues. Likewise. Okay. And there are certain things that you need to follow when you're given a lawful order by a police officer. Okay. That's just that's just the way it is. That's just the law. Right. Which I provided. I provided my I, I, identification. And again, your beliefs. Okay. Regardless of what you believe, you are to follow these rules. And that's just the unfortunate circumstance that you find yourself in. Okay. If you were to live in another country or another province, whatever, the, and they have different laws, you you would still need to follow those laws. I understand what you're saying. Okay. So, what I'm saying is that I am not under the jurisdiction of Laguna Beach, of State of California. Belief, but, but it's it's not it's not a matter of belief. It's a matter of fact. If you read the affidavit of status, well, that's your affidavit, right? Yeah. Which is an affidavit of fact. But that doesn't negate you from following the rules. It does because that only applies to to citizens. Okay, well you're driving on the roads here in Laguna Beach. I'm traveling. California, which is the United States of America. 
I'm traveling, which does not require a license. Vernacular you choose to describe what you are doing. You are currently here in Laguna. Yes. Okay. Physically here. Your body in, in in the location of Laguna Beach, not right. the corporation of city of Laguna Beach. Being here means that you need to follow the rules here. I understand that's what you believe. Okay. Well, that's that's yeah. So have you had time to think about it? Because we don't want to take you to jail tonight. We don't want to forcibly remove you from the car. But if you continue to believe that and not go with our lawful orders and all of that stuff, that's what we are going to do. We don't want to do that, but that's what's going to happen. Yeah, so, I, I don't think that would be a good idea. I, I don't. We don't want to do it. <laughs> well, then don't. You have free will. But also, we can't let things like this just go because of everybody. What what, what crime have I committed? Well, you're driving without a, a license, right? A crime requir requires a victim. The state of California is a victim. <laughs> state of California is not a person. This is this is what I'm talking about. I understand, I understand your beliefs, and I, I'm hearing what you are saying, right? But what I'm telling you is that reality is, and I've, I've read through it, the reality is that while you're in the state of California, you're required by law to have license plate, driver's license, by yourself, and a police officer pulls you over, all these different things, all right? So you believe the state of California can't be a victim. I'm telling you that... It is, and there's reasons why. I understand you believe that. So, yes. If that's where we find ourselves, if you continue to choose not to go with the program, so to speak, then we've already informed you of what's going to happen. So is that your decision currently and still moving forward? Because it, it, it would be a lot easier and a lot less stressful for everybody involved. And honestly, it wouldn't take very long for us to figure out who you are and then write a citation or whatever we're going to do. I've told you who I am. But and then you to be on your way. I've told you who I am. Everything is in that sworn affidavit. You can you can look me up. I'm just, I'm just telling you, we need to positively identify you with your driver's license and move on with this whole process and then you can be on I, your I, way. I do not have a driver's license because I am not driving commercially. Okay, so you don't have a driver's license? Not on me, no. Okay. But you gave my officer your name and date of birth. Yes, it is in the sworn affidavit that you said that you read over. But your date of birth is not on there. It's just your name. Okay, my date of birth is April 18th, 1995. April 18th, 1995. Okay. Have you ever been arrested before, been in any trouble, anything like that? Yes, I have. Okay, what was that for? Trespassing. Trespassing. For not wearing a mask. How long ago was that? Last year, or two years ago. Okay. April 18th. 1995. Yes. Okay. Uh, Why are you being so difficult about this? <laughs> You've already been on your way. You're cute. If you weren't wanted for like murder or anything. And your bin is covered. So we can't even figure out this car because you have no license plate. You have no license plate on your car and your VIN is covered. So mm -hmm. identifying this car. How do I know it's not stolen? Mm, I don't know. How do you? Mm. So now I have reasonable suspicion that you could potentially be driving a stolen vehicle. <laughs> do you? I do. You're looking up my name. You'll see that it's registered to me. I don't know if this car is registered to you. I don't know what the license plate is for it. I don't know what the VIN is for it. I don't even know who you are because you don't even have any... I have provided you with my sworn affidavit. And that's everything you need is in there. Not so. Okay. Well, then you don't need it. We're trying to make this as easy as possible. Yes, you are. It's gonna that's end up been made down clear. To us having to use force to get you out of the car, and we don't want to go that route. Good thing you have free will. I think this is a uh, past free will. This is about laws in California. Are you like wanted for something crazy? <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out why we're playing this. Game right now. Me too. Me, me too. Me too. And like, where did they clock you? Like, we were doing like 25 miles an <laughs> no, hour by the time I, they come. I saw her. She was okay. in one of the uh, right. corners. The two squad car thing confused me. Yeah. Just make sure I get your home address before uh, mm -hmm. 
This is all on video, yeah, so. Just take the citation. What's up, yeah? Are you willing to step out of the car so you don't get Absolutely dragged not. into all this? Uh, I'm not willing to step out of the car, and I'd prefer not to get dragged into it. I will be sitting very peacefully with my hands available for sight the entire time. Okay. Um, so I'll be, okay. yeah, yeah. So, um, by law, it's case law, uh, in a traffic stop, a police officer has the right to get the driver and all occupants out of the car. And if you refuse to get out of the car on your own accord, you can be arrested. My concern, my concern is that so, I... Hear me out real quick. Yeah. If you are wanting to not get wrapped up in this, mm -hmm. it is a lawful order that you have to get out of the car when requested to do so by a police officer. Um, okay. I, I hear you and I'm willing to continue to engage with you. Uh -huh. uh, my concern is that by getting out of the car, I will have given you access to this car. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's my concern. Okay. Are you willing to go to jail to do that? Uh well, um I am I, I'm I'm talking to him, sir. Yeah, I mean I Okay. Yeah, I I yeah, I, I guess I am. I would like okay, to mention so you are, that you are I am also refusing to get out of the car. I'm not refusing. Well, that's what you just told me. No, you asked me a hypothetical question, and I answered okay, well, hypothetically. I'm not talking hypothetical. I'm requesting you as a passenger in a vehicle that was pulled over mm -hmm. to get out of the vehicle. That is a lawful order. And if you do not do that, you will be arrested for penal code 148A1. He's may, just trying to intimidate you. May, may I look that up on my phone? Sure. Sure. Thanks. What is it? He's just trying to intimidate I got you, buddy. Just don't answer questions. I'll tell it to you again once you get your Google account. I'm ready. PC for penal code 148A1. It's good memory. CA, PC. I'm a slow reader. Just give and me a And then second. I'll also tell you the case law if you want to read that too. Sure. Sure, you can tell it to me and I'll, uh, so I'm ready is, for you. I believe this is the name of the case law. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know the case law. But uh, as far as the name of it, yep. I, I believe it's Pennsylvania B. E. Mims. Mims. Ooh, good memory. All right. And driver, you can feel free to research that as well if you would like. Take care of this. Chapter 7. Does that sound like the right one? Uh, the first one you gave me or the second one? Well, the first one is what you would be arrested for. Mm. The second one is the case law backing it. Oh, I see. Let me know. Does Pennsylvania case law apply to California? It applies to the entire United States. Is this a federal thing? Does that sound like about what it is? Let me, uh... Oh, you're on the penal code? That's right. Division D. I might be here for a while making sure I understand this law. your questions the language is uh has a lot of language about yeah, me trying to take your weapon and whatnot and it just doesn't seem like it really applies to the situation i'm certainly not delaying or obstructing anything that you're doing well, i'm locked into the car currently you are by refusing to get out of the car i haven't there might be like a case brief or a case summary i haven't uh down at the bottom probably. i haven't i haven't outright refused actually what i can't hear you i was reading out loud oh, okay. I'll even go on to, to say that when you refuse to identify yourself, being that unless this traffic stop was for like you not wearing a seatbelt or something that you were doing. Hey yeah. So here's the deal, okay? I'll let them talk. If we write you a citation for the vehicle code, equipment violations, and like the misdemeanor uh, violations that you're committing right now, will you sign the citation and be released from the scene with a citation and a signature, with your legal signature? Yes. Okay. For us to do that, we need to be able to identify your vehicle. So we need either a license plate or the VIN so we can attach the vehicle because that's the original probable cause for the stop, right? So we need to attach that to the citation. Will you remove your paperwork there so we can identify your VIN? Sure. Sounds like it's working itself out. Okay. Um, and as we, yeah. And so look, the way this is going to work, right? We're going to cite you the violations. It needs to be your legal signature, okay? It can't be 
some phrase or like a part of the affidavit. It has to be your name, right? Okay, like as it appears on whatever your legal documents are. Cool. All right. I am going to open the center console. What's up? I'm going to open the center console. Okay. You're welcome to. That's fine. Yeah, observe. To do when you get a ticket. Turn it into a bill. Be restrictive endorsement. Mm -hmm. Obviously, and if you don't sign, then you're basically demanding to be brought before a magistrate, at which point you'd be taken into custody. Okay? So just keep that in mind for the rest of this process. So, uh, apparently. What's up? Huh. What do you think about all of this? Uh, I think it's a headache. Why are you doing it? Um, well, my partner pulled you over. Passenger. Yeah, man. For yeah. If you do find yourself in so, this situation again. Yeah. Do you identify in yourself? It is completely up to the officer that's handling this call. Required. Yeah. Which I did. Go to jail or not. Uh -huh. But in this case. That's not required. An ID or a I won't picture. speak for what's going to happen. Not, but not required. Picture? Sounds like is not required. Well, how did you identify you guys? I'm not even but familiar with With my affidavit of status. Again. Okay. Hey. You, yeah, no, I just oh, was saying what's up. Go to jail. Where are you guys going? Back to my place. What I told you. Where are you living? You right down the street. Uh, PCH. I, I think so, yeah. You're in Laguna so, or yeah. further south? You're basically yeah, right, really right down here. Yeah. yeah. Have you been Not in Laguna, no. I would. Just like randomly on the highway. So. What happens? We'd probably get along outside this car. This this is the probably, I said we'd probably get this along is the first time you'll probably put that I've you get to or something. You know, cool. Since I became aware of this, this is the first time that I've been pulled over. Before I used to have a driver's license, I, I would have like gotten out of the car and like done all the thing. This is the first time that this has happened with yeah. Can I see um, the note? What will you show when me? When you that said note like you learned about all this? What's that? When you said like when you said I learned about all this? Yeah. What are you referencing? About like what did you learn? Like what changed? About to uh, make you get rid of the driver's license and what is that? Yeah, about about sovereignty and the the fact that uh, you, you know what that means? Nope. The fact that we are essentially slaves to the United States government, which is by definition that you can look this up. This is all information that's out there. A for-profit corporation that's located in in the District of Columbia. So I mean that this stuff goes deep, but like a driver's license is only required if you were driving commercially, like getting paid to, you know, Uber drivers, for example, they need a driver's license. But if you're just traveling, by definition, it is not required to have a driver's license because that only applies to commercial driving. And so that's just one example. And so for, for a crime, like if I would have been speeding and, you know, hit somebody's car, that would be a crime because there was a victim. So I damaged somebody else's property for that I should be held accountable. Yeah. If there is no victim, like it just speeding and it's like n nothing happens, for example, or running a, a stop sign even, and there's, you know, nobody gets hit, no damaged property, then there's no victim, then there's no actual crime. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so I respect like what you, what you think is right. Everyone has their own things. But for future reference, the reason that it's escalated to this and when people refuse to get out of their car, it raises the hair on our neck that there might be weapons inside. I understand. It, it's so also that's a, why we've been persistent trying to ask you out of the car. I understand. My best friend is a cop. Uh, I understand. My, like I've grown up with cops. I have nothing against you guys. A lot of it is also due to my ignorance and my inability to explain all of this effectively to where it doesn't escalate to this level. Mm -hmm. So it's it's on it's on me for not being able to educate you. Well, because I'm I'm still learning this stuff, as well. But it's uh... because of the same same thing. She she pulled you over for the same reason. She asked you to get out. You get out. You get the tickets that she's going to give you anyway, without the criminal charge of resisting or obstructing the peace officer. So you'd be same thing without the criminal charge if you. Would so I, I'm not worried about any of that because it's all it's all bullshit. Is that what you would tell a judge? No, that is not what I would tell a judge. Tell a judge. I don't know what I would tell a judge. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't studied enough to, to go to court. But I don't think that would get you very far in the court. I don't think so either. That would probably be a stupid thing to say. But you're willing to, you're willing to put yourself in that situation. Hundred percent. Unnecessarily. Yes, because that's how I learn. Because what? That's how I learn from experience. I'm a fuck around and find out type of guy. If you haven't. 
gotten that by now, Mr. <laughs> Meyer. You think that's a good thing? It's proven so far. Have you ever been arrested before? Yes. Similar circumstances or something else? Similar circumstances, misunderstanding. Like another traffic stop? Trespassing. Oh. Okay. For not wearing a mask in an airport. Uh, so not, not the same circumstances? No, similar. Again, a, a victimless crime. I, I, I'm not a criminal. I do not commit crimes. I don't damage anybody's property. I don't harm anybody. Who, who, is, who am I supposed to have harmed? I can say that again. Who am I supposed to have harmed? So in order to be a victim, there needs to be an injury? Yes, or, or damage of property or stolen property. There needs to be another human victim. Uh, yeah, that's not how it works, which you know. Okay. But, I mean, just, you're... I fully understand you have your beliefs, but as you're, you're a smart guy, you're well aware that that's not the law. I'm aware that that's what you believe. It, it's it's yeah, citation and, and code and violation, mm -hmm. but law, like old, highest law, common law, yeah, is for trespassing. Law, right? so, Technically, no, but that's what well, the cop thinks. Well, I mean, we could go back and forth with this sovereign citizen thing all day. I am not a sovereign citizen. <laughs> That's exactly what you are. I, no, that is an oxymoron. A, a sovereign cannot be a citizen. It's an impossibility. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> it's a, it's a stupid so. phrase. It doesn't make sense. I at least appreciate your friendly. Yeah, I have, like I said, I have nothing against you. I understand 100% why you guys are doing what you do. I think you're a smart guy. And being a smart guy, you understand that you could be going to jail tonight, and whether that happens or not, it could. Yes. It legally, 100% could. Both of you at, at legally, like actual legally, no. Like, it, if it went to court, then absolutely not. Oh, it, absolutely it would. I understand you believe that. You're not the first person to do this. I'm well aware, yes. So, we'll, we'll see uh, how they want to proceed. But Sounds at like this it. point, you were requested to get out of the do you like being a cop? I do. Why? I'm not going to answer. Uh, I'm not going to get into all that stuff. Okay, well, I'm not going to get into your stuff. Okay. Okay. What stuff hey, just curious. Get into? Whatever, whatever questions you have. If you're not going to answer my questions, I'm not going to answer your questions. Okay. Well, that's off topic. I was talking about this specific traffic stop in your... Oh, I don't give a shit about this traffic stop. Well, I want to know how you're doing. You should, because it has a lot to do with uh, your whether you leave from here or not. Oh. Driving away. Or that's something I should care about? Why should I care about that? What if I'm supposed to be here, right here right now? Well, eventually, you, you're going to either have to leave driving away from here, walking away from here, or us driving away from here in handcuffs. So, I mean, eventually there's going to be a next step, right? Well, who's to say one of those is bad and one of those is good? How do we know? Well, that's fine. If you think getting arrested is good, then that's fine. That's your opinion. You can think that. But bottom line, it's going to be up to the uh, officer that pulled you over how this uh, ends up. Heard. Okie doke. I was nice enough to give your friend here some case law, which hopefully was a extremely interesting read for you. Yeah, man. Case law is not interesting. It's very boring. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of friends that went to law school that hated it. What's up, brother? I was going to ask you. So, because you're getting a citation, they were explaining that to you. You'll have a court date to go before a judge. Mm -hmm. What... Are you going to tell the judge about this? I'm going to have to do some studying and cite some case law and cite the fact that I am not a citizen and you guys do not have jurisdiction over me and I committed no crime and there are no witnesses, there's no victims, there's there's been no crime committed. And then do you keep the cameras in the car no. in case this happens? No, I create content for a living. Okay. Yeah. What kind of content? Lifestyle content. Health fitness, life, yeah. Just curious. Yep. It's just odd that like, someone would have a GoPro with a mic on it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... It seems like you almost wanted this to happen. But... No, that's, I carry this with me all the time. It is good content though, so thanks guys. Do you have for... like a YouTube channel or like social media? I do. Captain Taylor Morgan. I can't hear you. Captain Taylor Morgan. Grand Captain Rising. Captain Taylor Morgan. That's me. Grand Rising. Yes. Do you like film your daily life? Yes, and in fact, that's <laughs> precisely what I do. Yes. How many subscribers are we talking about? On YouTube right now, four point four three k. 
Yeah, YouTube uh, YouTube is the newest addition. Yeah. You get uh, Google checks from Google. Google like that, what reviews? That, Google pay. Like, Go YouTube Google do, YouTube does oh. YouTube does pay. Yes, from, from YouTube. YouTube yeah, not from Google. Don't you need like over a thousand subscribers to start getting paid? to start monetizing? Yeah. yeah, and a certain number of views in like a three month period. Okay. Be good to release some. Well, I, you probably can't, but like body cam footage. Yeah, of, listen to my phone Sorry, Mr. Blaine, you're being issued a citation for a few things: speeding, no plates, not having your license when you're when you're driving, affecting a peace officer. Okay, so you are being issued a misdemeanor citation. I need you to sign right here. It's not admitting guilt, it's just saying you're going to take care of the ticket on or before the date printed on your ticket. I'll, I'll sign on the physical ticket. You have to sign on here. Uh, no, I'll, I'll sign on the physical ticket. So if you're refusing to sign, that's you indicating that you want to go straight to seeing a judge, which means we have to take you into custody right now. So I'm, trying to uh, avoid taking I'm not to refusing to sign. Okay, so am am I being issued a citation? Yes, you are. Can I see that citation? The copy of the citation. We can even print out a copy with your signature on it. Is that what you're requesting? Cool. So, yeah, th this I will sign. Hear me out. If so you sign that thing, we'll print out a copy with prints, your signature you on it. Okay. Yeah. Sign the the sheen first, and then we'll do that. Okay. So you need to. Where's the little vice? Just sign in the gray area, and it has to be your legal signature. Uh huh. Yeah, it looks real great. Kind of fat fingers, huh? Yeah, that's not working well. And that's your legal signature when you got your driver's license. That's 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 what you get you on picture, on that thing. No, so it's supposed to be your legal signature. I have a copy of it back there when you got your driver's license. Okay. It's on your Cal photo. Okay. This is not your legal signature. So I'm gonna clear this and I'm gonna give you one more opportunity <laughs> to sign with your legal signature. Okay? You failing to do so again, then that just means you want to go see a judge because you're failing to give your legal signature. Okay, so we're gonna clear. How this. how are you gonna tell me what That's my signature not, is? Because it's not. It's when you got your driver's license. Your signature you use that is your legal signature. Uh huh. So I need you to use your legal signature from when you got your driver's license. Right. We'll we'll do it again. Okay. Written in a distinct form. Name written in a distinct form that is used to identify yourself or provide authorization on important documents. It can okay. be a series of squiggles, a picture, or even a traditional X yeah, for people they're just who can't read or write. Signature. It's so your signature right here is on your affidavit, sir, that you gave us, and that is not what that looks like. So it has to be your legal signature. Your legal signature is on this affidavit you gave to us, and this is not your signature. It's on my body cam. This is not your legal signature. Okay? What What about that is not legal? I don't know. One more, I'm going to clear it one more time. Otherwise, you're going to be taken into custody at that point, and we're not going to go the misdemeanor route anymore. And you're going to actually go to jail, and you're going to see a judge. It's not an admission of guilt, dude. It's just a promise to appear or to take care of this. Uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm not trying to fuck with you guys. It, it seems like you are. So it has to be your legal signature. It seems like you're trying to fuck with us. No, I, we've actually been <laughs> very patient. Go ahead and sign if you want to look at this. Just Types as a reminder of, legal of your legal signature. That works too. It constitutes a signature. Right. Here's a copy of that. Make sure you put a license plate on your car. Otherwise, you're going to continue to get stopped. We'll remove that uh, piranha from your side. What's a piranha? Right, what do I do with this? What's a piranha? I put some on my car. I can pop the tire if I drove away. All right, well, that's that. That was funny and not funny. We live to see another day. Full signature means the legal, legal signature of the individual. It can be a series of squiggles, a picture, or even a traditional X for people who can't read or write. Am I free to drive away? Is the thing off? The piranha? What? You took the piranha off? Okay, bye. Love you. Thanks. Have a good night. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Myers was upset. That oh, guy dude. was butthurt. I'm about to run this red light. Don't, don't, don't. No! No! No, dude! No, you do not. Oh my god, dude. Come get me, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh my god. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life. Oh my life. god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're totally gonna come do it. How far are you? Uh, not far.
man. <laughs> that shit was so silly. Man, I'm learning a ton. Yeah. Just sit, remember to breathe. Just be patient. Like that. <laughs>